All right, here we are in a beautiful Simi Valley, California day, looking at a very nice and very special 1936 Ford three-window coupe. Very nicely done car. We're going to walk around and tell you what we see and what we know. It's finished in a PPG Omni Black. It's just beautiful. It's resting on a body off uh, restoration with uh, fully engineered chassis, upgraded powertrain, a lot of the feature and comforts that you'd like, like power windows, power deck lid, power seats, air conditioning. We're going to save the engine compartment for you last as a little surprise here, but definitely the kind of car you can drive, and it's definitely all steel. We're going to walk around in here and uh, cover a lot of the little things that we see as I walk around. The roof has not been chopped. They just have a beautiful look stock, and it's nice when these are not altered. The roof has not been filled. However, it has a steel panel in the roof here that looks really good. Um, it's where it typically would have been a cardboard covered, you know, canvas covered cardboard. Has a Newport wiper, uh, two speed wipers. The arms are not on it. The windshield still cranks out on it. Has these neat little uh, swan neck mirrors on it that are mounted to the door. They're convex, so it makes it easy for you to back out and take a look. The door handles are still in place. Car just has a bitchin' stance. As I walk around, I mean, cars like this are just a lot of fun, and you don't see them very often. As uh, he had just put new running boards on it because that one little tiny mark he didn't like. This car is tediously loved and very nice. It's like I said earlier, it's the kind of car you can drive. It has uh, Billet Specialties Legacy wheels with simulated knockoffs. Very subtle mods on the front here that some of you may have already noticed, and. Uh, we're going to cover them for you here. The bumpers have been nicely tucked up against the body. So it's got shortened bumper stanchions on the front. These headlights are a 39 Chevrolet torpedo style. They're just beautiful. They're on shortened stanchions themselves. The uh, horn rings here have turn signals hidden behind them. The hood sides, the hood, the whole entire hood has been kind of reworked on the car and when you look at it you really can't tell, that, and that's when modifications are done right. Um, the hood sides here actually will remove and uh, typically this car would have had a, a four piece hood side where it would have been hinged in the center and this would have lifted up and either side would have lifted up. But anyway, these hood sides are wrapped over a bar that comes here so you just take these hood latches off once the hood's up and these hood sides come right off so you can access anything. We're going to share in the engine compartment with you when we get there. Uh, just hang on to the video here. The hood has been set up at like a, a one piece hood so it opens this way clamshell style. The headlights are beautiful, a nice little touch gives it a nice feel. You know it's a hot rod or a rear, very nicely done resto rod. We'll step back, it's got the perfect stance to it yeah I like this car you will too again the windshield cranks out like it's supposed to the uh, mirror on this side is also convex so it's got you know the view of it is easier the windows are power windows but they still function like they normally would and when we get over the driver's side I'll show you uh, the power windows actually operate from a remote or the switch on the door um, we'll cover that in the interior when we get around to it. You can see my reflections in the side of the car here. It's just really nice. We're going to open up the door here, kind of give you a feel. We're going to spend a lot of time when we get over to the driver's side and spend a little bit more time telling you about the interior of the car. But we're just going to give you a little taste here. Soon as you open up the door, you get a whiff of really high-end leather in this car. Dual power seats. Again, we'll let you stare at the dash here, but there's some really neat little surprises on this car. Um, these are uh, power windows. Again, we'll cover that on the other side. High end. It's kind of a uh, light chocolate interior, not taupe or anything like that. The door's shut nice. It has a lot of, the, again, the features that you'd like. The PPG Omni Black is just beautiful on this car. He's got the wheels tucked in just right. The car has a perfect stance. Kind of give you the back window here. Roof line. God, it's had a great day here in Simi Valley. Get all excited when I do a car like this because they're a lot of fun to do. See the reflections in the paint. We waited intentionally till the end of the day here so you get a good feel. Just like the front, there's modifications on the back here. They're just subtle enough that it gives it just that extra sex appeal is what I'd call it. Um, 
The bumpers on the rear here are tucked in just like the front ones. Very nice and tight on the back. Tail lights here are either molded into the fender. Again, this is all steel. The deck lid is really neat. Let me step back here so you can kind of get a feel. If you remember, early 36 Fords had a big old spare tire back here in the center. And it actually would hide a lot of the beauty of the rear body lines on this car. Just gorgeous. So what they've done is they've highlighted those body lines with a totally reworked trunk. The typical trunk line probably would have went across here and it would have either been a rumble with a handle up the forward or a trunk model with it open here. But what they've done is they've extended the trunk and created the waterfall so it followed the body lines very nicely. If you've been looking for a 36 Ford, you know all the things I'm pointing out here. Um, step back and give you a view of the tail end here. Again, the reflections here late in the day are just beautiful. We've been working really hard to uh, keep the sun out of the camera here. See the hedge and the deck lid there. Radius the uh, deck lid here, you see that. The fuel fill is right here. It's a push-up kind. I'm not going to put my fingerprints all over it, pushing on it. We'll take you inside here in a minute. I'm going to step back over here and just kind of give you a feel of the stance from the back side. Um, then we'll take you inside the car and we're going to share underneath the hood with you, but it's got everything you'd want. Automatic transmission, air, power windows, so on and so forth. Modernized uh, suspension. Those legacy wheels are a perfect fit for this car. Anyway, we're going to invite you in here in just a second. All right, let's get inside here. Very nice. Um, same level of detail follows all the way through this car. Um, we're going to share the engine compartment and the undercarriage with you like we always do, but uh, walk around is the first part that we do. The interior in this car has a uh, very, very supple, I would call it a light chocolate uh, it's not a taupe or anything, and it's a very nice, uh, got a nice feel to it. It matches the black really sweet. Vertical pleats, French style stitching, dual power seats on it. Uh, has everything that you'd want in it. We're going to go over all the features and stuff, but it's got some really cool things that you may have already noticed or not. Um, on the windows here, they still operate factory, and I'll show you here where they come down, but this is a power window switch. The power windows work either by remote, so you can open them up if you're standing outside or by the switch inside the car. The same thing for the trunk. The trunk opens the same way. We'll have a video about, you know, covering that section for here yet, uh, for you. Also behind the seat, same thing. We'll lift the seat up here and we'll have a little section for you there. Nice retractable seat belts, uh, dual power seats that are all functional. They even went to the detail to do the side seat kicks here to hide the, the bracket. Um, just really nice. It has a uh, temp gauge hidden underneath the dash here. The ignition switch is right here. Um, you'll see it has a tilt steering column. Now we'll get to the fun part. It has a, a 40 Ford steering wheel cut down. Uh, we have a cheat sheet in my back pocket. We'll have more specs and stuff at Spod's Garage like we always do. It has a 54 Olds dash that's just sweet. We're going to get in here and show you that. I'm trying to get in here without uh, marking up running boards or anything like that. All these gauges in the dash are fully functional. He has a backup gauge down here, which is a mechanical, I believe, to just give him a little bit of peace of mind. No overheat issues at all. It's just a peace of mind thing. It has a uh, custom auto sound secret audio in it, air conditioning, vintage air and heat. has a nice tack mounted here in the console. It has a uh, low car push style button shifter for the C6 automatic transmission. You'll see the AC vents and heat vents are down here on the side of the leather console and up on the dash here on both sides. Get over here to this side, you'll see speakers here. Again, secret audio. Take a look at the stitching here and this, this leather is just super soft, supple. Um, has secret audio controllers right here between the seat. It also has a, you'll see a cord there for an iPod connection or a phone connection. I'm going to go ahead and fire this girl up. Show you all the gauges. <laughs> Love my job. Anyway, you'll see the amp gauge is working like it's supposed to. Uh, 
fuel gauge is on full oil pressures you know 40 50 range but everything works like it's supposed to we'll share a little door jam here with the button head allen hardware in it uh, show you how the window works you see how it tips back for the old cigar smoker and then it goes up I'll do that again but it has power windows both sides super sweet the windshield itself still cranks out like it's supposed to I'm not going to crank it out but uh, a little extra ventilation if you want it we'll get out and let you hear it run here still a little cold we just pulled it out of the garage anyway make sure you hang on to the end of the video go to spudsgarage.com but make sure you hang on to the end we're going to cover a lot one day under the hood's fun all right let's get underneath the hood man oh man you'd have never guessed this when you open up the hood people at a car show will go wow anyway the hood sides are usually on it you can't see as much but uh, uh we took the hood sides off so i could kind of give you a feel for how nice and tidy this this uh, car is underneath the hood other than being an absolutely bitchin 36 ford three window body uh, underneath the hood is just shocking it's very nicely done it's very drivable it doesn't have any overheat issues it's a 460 ford with aluminum cylinder head it's kind of a mild kind of build kind of thing um, very drivable ford c6 automatic transmission it has a ford nine inch rear differential in the back uh, 328 posi that's been recently gone through so it's very uh, it's just ready tidy and right this gentleman likes uh, you can tell by looking at this it's just very nice it has a uh, ceramic coated block hugger style headers on it has a uh, hush power flow master hush power mufflers on it so it's got a nice rumble to it tone to it high amp uh, modern style uh, one wire alternator on it has a mechanical fuel pump down here has a uh, March billet serpentine belt drive system on it. Has a uh, Mallory electronic ignition billet distributor in it with an MSD blaster coil. Uh, that is a uh, wet uh, wind uh, stealth intake manifold with a uh, Holly 750 dual feed carburetor, electric choke or vacuum secondary electric choke. Uh, I thought we'd cover the master while we're over here. We'll talk about it about a little under undercarriage too. That is a billet master cylinder polished billet, but it also has electric assist. So when you turn the key on, it starts the it uh, generates a vacuum and it gives you extra power boost uh, for the brakes. Anyway, we'll uh, move around here. Aluminum radiator. Probably already said that, but we'll cover it again. Serpentine belt drive system. Uh, AC, the car has AC, so there's an AC compressor right here. You can see how he, how his wires are all nice separators, laid out nice, so on and so forth. You can always tell when a car is uh, uh, meticulously cared for. Very nicely done firewall recess on this right here. Um, AC lines go down off the compressor and they come in and they enter right in here. Um, the heater hoses are also connected. It also has a shrink heater hose clamps on it. Like I always say, I think you get the idea. This is a really neat car. Um, make sure you hang on to the end of the video. Definitely go to Spud's Garage where we'll have plenty of still photos for you to study. Have a great day. Thanks for listening to me. All right, the owner is going to take, like we talked about during the engine video, he's going to take the engine side off here for you. Um, comes off from the factory latches here which is really neat it's just wrapped over and there it is we've got them off on both sides anyway go to Spud's garage all right just a short little video clip here to show you behind the seats man you can just smell the leather in this car beautiful has uh, that little ignition switch down there little key down there actually turns off the uh, the battery it also has a battery tender and has these nice uh, billet it looks like custom speaker grills but the fit of the interior is just like the exterior body of this car and the interior the German square weave carpet goes all the way to the back so there's nice little storage room here besides the uh, it also has a map pocket in the back of the seat anyway hang on to the end of the video all right we're going to show you how the trunk opens it there's a switch inside but it also opens up with the remote um, 
way up. Pitching car. All right, we got it open. We'll share the trunk here with you. Perfectly matches the interior of the car. Very high end. Um, you gotta love the access here from the factory. It would have been uh, came across here, and you would have had a spare tire on the back here. But this is a really, really nice way to bring out the body lines on this car. I know it already been there, but uh, anyway, very high end, uh, smooth panels here in the back. The uh, deck lid itself here is sculpted. It goes along with the deck line itself. I'm going to hop in this thing in just a minute. We'll take her for a spin. All right, as promised, we'll take her for a little spin here. 36 is just sweet. Very nice smooth shifts. If you want attention, this baby will get it. This is also the kind of car you can drive. Hey, go to the end of the video. Make sure you watch it. Have a great day. Alright, let's take a look at the undercarriage. Very nice top to bottom. Anyway, as I walk around here, make sure you uh, pay attention to the reflections in the paint in this car as I walk around. Anyway, um, fully engineered chassis uh, resting on a body off style restoration. It is a rectangular and box steel structure engineered chassis. It has a Ford 9 inch rear end, 328 Posi. It has uh, Alden coil over shocks with like a triangulated four bar suspension. Drum brakes in the rear here. It has a welder series stabilizer bar front and rear. It uh, body off restoration has a hard black uh, coating underneath it. So it's a hard surface coating. You'll see the lower bars here and the upper bars are triangulated. So it doesn't have a panard bar or need one. The exhaust has all been ceramic coated, taken apart in ceramic coated. And it's kind of neat how it over the frame goes out and cuts down to the uh, exhaust here so that's nice and subtle where the exhaust comes out on the car. Show you on both sides here. See how it comes up there hidden in the fender. And a nice mean sound to it. Pardon me jostling around a little bit there because I uh, was down on my knees. See the reflections in the side of the body here very rock solid no rust body off style restoration has a bill of specialty legacy wheels on it which has assimilated knockoffs and he's even got those going in the direction that they're supposed to go if you were to knock them off so these have to be knocked off to access the uh, lug nuts on it the rear tires are 235 75 r15 See the exhaust, the bottom of the running boards here, the frame. You can see the structure. Get over here in the middle. Very tidy and very clean. Has a uh, uh, Mustang II style front suspension with tubular control arms. Again, this is a fully engineered chassis, so uh, the front tires are a uh, 165 SR 15s again a legacy uh, wheels billet specialties as rack and pinion steering Mustang 2 style welder series stabilizer bar there you see that tubular control arms Alden coilovers in the front disc brakes with electric power assist Nice. This is a really nice car, folks. Nice and the car sits just at the right height. You got plenty of clearance to drive it. The car drives nice and it should with the nice stout chassis underneath it. 
absolutely rock solid body. On here and kind of give you a center shot again. Anyway, we're thinking you get the idea. Definitely go to spudsgarage.com where we'll have plenty more. We've taken a lot of shots today. Have a great day.